Hello and welcome. This is Frost here, and we are playing Paper Mario tonight, the Origami King. I'm gonna make moves slightly and hoping not mess up my background here, and then we'll get going. Jump right into it. So the only thing I've done so far is I click this to start, and it started a cutscene, and I exited out immediately. So um, I think I need to. Move you over a little bit and make this guy a little brighter. Isn't this great bro back on the road again together and heading to some kind of festival? <coughs> what did the invitation say again? An origami festival? What's that going to be like? I can't wait to say hello to Princess Peach. It's been a while. It's a been a while. Do the Mario voice. It's cutting off my head now. It's just my head just looks flat right there for some reason. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're on this. We're in the car. In the Mario car. Ooh, this area looks huge already. Here we are, Toad Town, and there's Peach's Castle. <coughs> it's empty. Where's everyone at? You know, for being paper, they have a lot of 3D buildings. Where is everybody? You don't think we missed it, do you? Mario! Check the invitation again. When are we supposed to be here? You're invited to the Origami Festival in Fabulous Toad Town. Date, O-O-X-X, -X, Peach. <coughs> well, it's the right day. You think they're still getting things ready? Let's go check the castle. Maybe everyone's inside. Is he riding like on a Lego? Is that Legos? It would make sense with the Mario Legos, right? Yeah, I, I picked it up. I, I pre-ordered it a while ago, and I'm just pumped to play it. How's it going, General Bacon? Is the chat box on the screen? It is on the screen. Cool, it's over there on the right-hand side. <coughs> we might move that depending on how battles and stuff go once we start playing. Man, I look super white, especially in the dark, and with a gray shirt. Yeah, the only bad thing is that I had to get a bunch of white lights to, in order to get the green screen to work, and it makes me look super pale. Here we are, Peach's Castle. I'm gonna park the cart, okay? I don't wanna tip the valet. Wow. Cheap ass Luigi. Cheap ass Luigi. Sorry for the wait, bro. Let's go see the princess. <coughs> okay, I'll start with 50 HP. I have some items. I can jump. Um, okay, cool. So we can look at all our stuff. Info is locked. Map is locked. Weapons. I have boots. So, interesting. I only have Mario? Or is Luigi not... I don't know how that works, but... We only have... It looks like a Mario there. Accessories. Nothing. Items, nothing. Useful items, nothing. Settings. Motion controls is on. Ooh, that's... <coughs> that could be a problem. Alright, let's do this. Open. I'm pumped for this. It's kind of spooky in here, isn't it? And where is everybody? I expect to see at least one toad by now. Mamma mia, I forgot our gift in the cart. I'll just dash over and get it. Good job, Luigi. 
Okay, I don't like that. How am I going to get outside when the door is locked? Don't worry, Mario. I know just what to do in situations like this. You just got to find Mario. Right, Mario? Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to take a deep breath and go find the key to this door. That's what you do, right? Tell Princess Peach I'll be right there if you see her first, okay? Bye-bye. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Luigi's? <laughs> Luigi's dumb. Alright, I can't open that. So, I have a confession to make. I have never finished one of the Paper Mario games before. I'm really hoping they put some of them on the Switch. I will play them all. But I just haven't been in the position to actually finish one whenever I've tried to play one. Um, so I'm really hoping they put more on the Switch because I would definitely play them. Mario, is that you? Uh oh, is it Peach? Is it Bowser? Who's it gonna be? Oh, it's Peach. Origami Peach. Yeah, I hope so too. I, w I was hoping they would be kind of like part of there because all the rumors about the 35th anniversary of Mario this, this summer. So I'm hoping they release something like that. How good to see you. Answer me this. Shouldn't the Mushroom Kingdom unfold and be refolded unto glory? No. And what of those toads? Shouldn't they be silenced for all eternity? No. I mean, maybe. Toads are kind of annoying sometimes. <clears throat> I see. Last question. Will you crease yourself and be reborn like me? Sure, why not? I didn't mean to put that, but whatever. Wrong answer. Right answer. It matters not. Your replies are all paper thin. Well, obviously, paper, paper Mario. Goodbye. Oh. Okay, then. There we go. <coughs> Mario? Always gotta make a flashy entrance, huh? Are you here for the Origami Festival too? This dungeon-themed waiting lounge is a huge upgrade from the last festival I attended. Very classy. Wow, I don't want to know what festival that was. You ain't seen Master Bowser anywhere, have you? They ain't like the big lug to leave his minions hanging at a public event. Whoa, Mario, you're here? I'm a big fan, or I mean, I've always wanted to battle you, even if I get stumped. It would be an honor. Wow, this is also exciting. First I see Princess Peach, now you? I gotta say, the princess is a little different than I expected. Less lifelike. What's going on, Sebastian? <coughs> Come with us. Yeah, what's next? I've never seen a toad before. Please tell me it's a toad. A Goomba that's never seen a toad? Yeah, this is the new game. Paper Mario the Origami King. Not you. Aw, hope you don't have to wait too long, Mario. I'll say hi to Toad for you. I mean, I assume all of them are getting origami right? Mario, is that you? I need you. Your help. I'm, I'm in a very strange place. It's a cramped and dark, almost like I'm between dimensions or something. I'm not sure if I should be amazed or scared, but I'm kind of both. If it's not too much trouble, <coughs> I'd like to get out now, please. Is there any way you can help? Yeah, bummer, man. Blood, getting blood. Is, ooh, I picked up a hammer. Getting blood taken is never fun. Can I make this jump? <sighs> I really want to make this now. Hey. Ooh. Yo, we got an exit. What is this? Wait, what was that? Did something light up at your feet? It's a magic circle. That's good. I think I mean... I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with it. 
can you try to use it somehow? Um, a thousand fold arms? What are fold arms? Oh, oh! That, that sounded good. Are your arms all big and foldy now? I've heard about this. I think those are called a thousand fold arms. Try feeling around a bit. Maybe you can help me escape from this strange dimension. If it feels like the arms are off-center and out of control, maybe try pressing R to reset them. Oh. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. That's not good, man. You need to eat, like, a cookie or something. Wow, I'm free from that weird in-between dimension. <coughs> Who's this? Oh, was I just stuck in that wall? You must be Mario. My name's Olivia. You'd probably like to know a lot more about me and why I was trapped like that, huh? Uh, kind of. But I don't think we really have time for that now. Maybe we should just get out of here. There's just one thing. I'm not exactly fleet of foot. Mind if I hit a ride? He's paper! Where, 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 where is the paper going? Wait, let's get our weapons. So we have a, a new hammer. Boots. No accessories, no items. We have three coins. Yeah, I'd imagine. Okay. So let's try this door. I'm pretty sure I can't go out this door, but we should try it anyways, just for funsies. You know, I feel like I just had a pretty good idea. I don't know if you'll always be good ideas, but I'm always happy to share them with you. Why don't you try pressing X if you're stuck, and I'll see what I if I can think of something useful. I have to go to the dentist, too. I don't have an appointment yet, though, but I need to go. Who knows, maybe we'll get to know each other and make a great team. Is that how these things go? Oh man. They really break, not breaking the third wall, but breaking the third wall. <laughs> okay, I'm getting my bearings. I think we might be in the castle dungeon. Dungeons smell like this place smells, right? Man, I'm really glad he identified it as a dungeon. I don't think anyone would have known that it was a dungeon otherwise. Hey, knock it off. Oh, I want the I want the gold coins, man. <coughs> oh, it's Bowser. Origami Bowser. I can see what you're about to do to my minion and I order you to cut it out. This is gonna be another one of those ones where we team up with Bowser. That's cool. I probably won't go for like another couple months. They folded him in half? Oh man. It's an origami machine. I wish origami was that cool, that easy. What did you see? Nothing terrifying, I hope. That was the last you'll see of them. Oh, the last of them. Man, I can't read tonight, apparently. <coughs> Come on, shy guys. Except for the mustachioed one. Okay, maybe I have time to explain one little thing. Those stiff looking guys are called folded soldiers. I don't want to alarm you, but they're unbelievably dangerous. I think we should try to avoid them. What do you think they meant by that was the last of them anyway? The last what? Um, let's check back on Bowz. Bowzilla. My minions, you monsters. I won't forget this. I'm going to unfold my body and fold yours into pretzels. <coughs> I would be nervous, man. Alright, I'm just going to hit everything with my hammer because, you know, that's what we do. Mario, you're here too? Well, what are you waiting for? Get me down from this thing. 
Even you know this is no way to treat royalty. Royalty? Oh, nice to meet you. Is everyone in your kingdom also a face? I've got a body too. Those folded jerks just bent it in ways that I won't describe in detail right now. I've seen it's seen worse, believe me. Never mind that. I'm the great King Bowser and I demand to be set free and unfolded. Now Mario, ignore your floating friend and get me down from here. Bowser commands you. I would do the same for you. You need it as much as you need me as much as I need you, admit it. Mm, probably, but Plus, I can tell you a secret after you free me. No one can resist a good secret. Blah. I don't do a good Bowser voice. Hey, don't just leave me hanging. Get me down from here. No, I want to break all the stuff first. Come on. I know we've had our differences, but you got to help me out here. <laughs> Alright. No, it's like pulling a bandage off halfway. Ow. <coughs> Is it going to unfold? Oh, kind of thought I would just unfold or something. Me too. Bah, no matter. Now it's that secret I promised to tell you. There's a hidden exit in this room. I heard those jerks talking about it. Lousy, no good body folding jerks. Now hurry up and find it, and I'll let you bring me along with you when you escape. Well, I want to go out this way. I want to go back and explore this area. I didn't really explore the left side. Where is the mustache? I can hear the folded soldiers talking. They might be nearby. Alright, so that's the room I was just in, and that's the exit to the room I was just in. Simple. Simple. It's late, so I apologize for the yawns. But we'll play a couple hours tonight, hopefully. Folded arms. Play with the pro controller doing that is a little rough. See, but ha ha ha. Where would you be without me? I would probably be in the same room. You're really getting the hang of those a thousand fold arms, Mario. Ooh, a save block. Save complete. Save complete, huh? Guess that means your adventure up to this point has been saved. Whoo! Man. Let's make a habit of saving every time we see another one of those shiny blocks, okay? Oh, and you'll find all sorts of helpful stuff when you open the menu with Start. If you want to try some other options or some help, check the Settings section of the menu. Alright, well, it doesn't let me use Map or Info, so everything else you've already looked at. <coughs> Literally nothing helpful here. So, um, I, I avoided, like, I knew I wanted to play this, and I avoided, like, everything about it. Oh, we're on the rooftops. So, I know I pre-ordered it. Excuse me. I pre-ordered it because I knew I wanted to play it, and I was like, I'm going to play through the whole thing, regardless of what happens, but... Um, I did check out, like, some reviews just to see if, like, if it was good or not. Like, positive or negative. Why are you still so flat? Why haven't you joined me in folded glory? Come. We can reshape you. Patience, princess. This will do just fine. So you're Mario, Princess Peach's hero, right? Yes, you'll do quite well. Very crisp, bright colors. I can see it now. So what do you say? Will you volunteer your paper body to the cause? Or will we have to get crumply? Join us. Yes or no? No. 
Ah, I expected nothing less, and to be honest, I wouldn't have it any other way. Take a good long look at Princess Peach. She's better this way, don't you think? No need to answer. You'll soon feel the power of origami yourself. Folded soldier, come forth. <laughs> I've never seen a folded soldier like that, Mario. Does it look like one of your flat paper friends? I never got to see <coughs> Toad. Man, the graphics in this are really good. Prepare to be folded. Wave battle. So I know battling in this game is different, and it has to do with this ring thing here. Oh no, I'm guessing it's your first time facing folded soldiers, Mario. Once these flat paper folks have been turned into folded soldiers, we can't turn them back. It seems cruel to fight them, but if we don't, they'll try to fold you into origami too. I'd help you attack, but my tiny arms don't pack much of a punch. I don't want to get in your way. So I'll cheer you on, but you'll have to do the heavy lifting yourself. Line them up. And hey, did you catch that message? It said something about a wave battle. Are we in some kind of splash zone? I guess we'll worry about that when we get to it. Let's just focus on these enemies for now, Mario. <coughs> Speaking of, you're surrounded by four folded soldiers, huh? Where do they get the other three come from? If they all attack at once, you'll get a real pummeling. This looks rough. Hey, I just had a great idea. If you line all four of them up, you could jump your way down the row in one attack. Beep, boop, bip, bam. Lucky for us, these rings will let us move the enemies around and group them together. Just so use L to select the ring you want to move and then press A to confirm your choice. There's one naughty Goomba out of place right now, let's try to get it over to the empty circle. Now use L again to rotate the ring. Once that Goomba is lined up with the others, press A to finish. Great lineup, attack power up. <coughs> Yeah, there we go. You line up all four Goombas. When you group your enemies into a successful lineup like this, your attack power increases by one and a half. That means your attack power will be precisely, uh, oh gosh, I forget how to multiply it by a point. Um, oh, whatever. You get what I mean. Your attacks will do more damage. So keep lining up those enemies. Now we can flatten these Goombas with the boots, I guess? Select your pair of boots using the L, then press again to begin your attack. Mario's turn. Okay, so you have to press A again to bounce on them. Wow, those world famous Mario jumps don't disappoint. Pick out all four Goombas with a single jump attack. See what I mean? Lonnie Bear enemies is totally worth the effort. So I wonder what happens when they're not like, yeah, like this. Ah, more folded soldiers. I guess some battles are gonna have enemies attacking in waves. I guess that's why it must be called a wave battle up front. If you see last wave pop up, that means you're on the last group. Hang tough, Mario. These guys are lined up a little differently, so show me your hammer attack next. Line them up. <coughs> your hammer will hit a shorter, wider area with one powerful blow. Those spaces marked with circle are your ham showing you where your hammer attack will land. Let me lean forward. I'm having trouble breathing. Get some of that allergy stuff in the back of my mouth, my throat. It'd be great if you could get all four folded soldiers onto those spaces. Let's give it a try. Same as before. Select the ring and then press A to confirm. You did it. Now they're all in the hammer in range. Excuse me, hold on. And if they line up perfectly, see so your attack power went up by one and a half. I, uh, I'll let you do the math. Time to swing that hammer of yours. Select it and start your attack, okay? Hammering Mario's turn. Great. Do you see that? Bloop. Blop. Ah, what a satisfying attack. Fast, flashy, and flattering. But only if you range your enemies into a successful line. Jump attacks and hammer attacks ha both have their own ideal lineups. 
always think carefully about how your enemies are lined up before you attack. Okay? Okay. 204 coins, 102 puzzle completion bonus, 102 no damage, 102 wave bonus. That's a lot of coins. So you defeated the first Goomba. Bravo. I assure you it is far from the deadliest creature in this realm. I suppose there's no point in maintaining this shroud any longer. Was he an origami king? It's the origami king. Yeah, I got it. I got it at launch. Brother. No, it can't be. I didn't want to believe it could be you. How many times did I tell you to stop? Please, you have to stop now. Why couldn't Mario have simply left you in that wall where I put you? Sister, if you stand in the way of my ambition, I'm afraid you will not share in my glorious family. Oh, and by the way, I am no longer your brother, Ollie. I am King Ollie. <coughs> What's going on, man? I missed your second stream yesterday. Um, I caught the first one, but I, didn't catch, I couldn't catch the second one. By the time I am done, all of these miserable toads will be folded. The flimsy paper minions of Bowser shall be reborn as loyal folded soldiers serving me. And I shall fold, crease, and bend the entire paper world to my whim. The birth of a new origami kingdom. Yeah, like, my whole collection is basically digital. I'm pretty pumped to try it. Yeah. I just started. I'm only, like, we're 20 minutes in. It's mostly been tutorial stuff. It hasn't been like... There's been some cool stuff so far, but nothing like out of the ordinary for Paper Mario. Typical Luigi not knowing what he's doing, and then, uh, you know, teaming up with Bowser. You know, typical stuff. So, I played a couple of them. I played, like, I think I've played all of them, but I've never finished one. The original Paper Mario's one's the probably one I got the farthest in. And I was like, I was young, so I was I wasn't finishing games at that age or at that point. Um, and then Thousand Year Door, I think I played briefly, and the latest one, Color Splash, I played like the first area. I borrowed it from a friend, played it for the first area, and then um, then my Wii U broke. <laughs> Ooh, we're stuck in a tree. Yeah, I was I was upset about my Wii U because like I was playing Xenoblade Chronicles X and like some other stuff and it was a, it was a bummer. Kill all the flowers. All right, so where do we want to go? This area looks kind of suspect. The the battle system we did, we only have the one battle so far, but the battle system looks pretty unique and different. Um, there are definitely still some. Yeah, the graphics look really nice in this. Oh. Don't fall off. Uh, um, the graphics look really nice. <coughs> the colors look really nice. Ooh. We'll come back to that. I want to see what's down here first. Watch out. Unless you can float like me, I'd be careful over there, Mario. Do you see that huge hole in the ground? I don't think you'd be fall like falling into it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But how? Hmm. Oh, I've got it. Catch this. Empty confetti bag. 
Do you see the colorful scraps of paper that showered out of the tree when you fell? That's confetti. Everything here is made of paper, of course, so every little bit of confetti is like a tiny piece of our world. That's why I think if you gather enough confetti and sprinkle it into that hole, it might just fix the problem. See the little icon that's urgently flashing? That tells you how much confetti you have. Can you try hitting flowers, grass, and trees with your hammer to knock confetti list? I just knocked all the flowers, man. And um, once you're done, I might need rescuing again. So sorry. Alright, well we just got... At least it stays on the ground. That's pretty cool. Alright. It doesn't tell me how much confetti I have. It's just like a gauge. Maybe try heading over the hole very carefully. So, I'm really... I'm not... Super excited. Um, I think your bag is filled to the brim with confetti already. Ooh, that rhymes. Anyway, can you try heading over to the big hole now? I can try. I'm trying to collect all my confetti. You can tell they definitely went with, like, the Paper Mario... Not the Paper Mario, the Yoshi approach here. Where, like, everything's made out of other stuff. When you're ready, press ZR to toss some confetti into it. Yeah, ZR. Ha, ZR. Boo, ZR. Pow, ZR. <coughs> you don't have to do sound effects, but I think they're kind of fun. <laughs> That's so weird. Did it work? It sounds like it worked. Well, if it worked this one time, it should work every time you find one of these. Call me optimistic. I'll call you anything but optimistic. Oh no, I hope you won't always remember me for this moment alone, Mario. Maybe you can help me get my head unstuck somehow. up some more confetti. Yeah, I really like this so far. I'm excited to play it. I'm going to probably play this all weekend, actually. I might take a break to play something else, but I think this is probably what I'm going to play most of the weekend. Alright, our bag looks like it's full again. Pull her out of here. Whew, that's much better. Thank you. Alright, now where are we? There's no one around to ask for directions. This could be a problem. It seems like all we can do is explore this area a little bit. I don't know how much help I'll be, but I'm always here to chat if you want to press X. I'll do my best. You've been, you've been literally nothing but awful the entire time I've had you. I can't tell if there's another level of confetti that I can get to. <coughs> Ooh, one of these here? Oh, that means my brother is already folding the whole world into his whims. That's bad news. Alright, let's use our arms. Oh, we can, we can hit it. Ooh, nice. So that's like one of the new con new origami features for origami Mario. Mushroom, nice. Useful item that can restore Mario's health anytime. That's good. I'm sure we'll probably need that. Ooh, Mario. I've heard about this. It's a precious adventuring resource. It's called an item. Well, I mean, that's true. Press Y to select an item. You can use it right away. How convenient is that? Ooh, nice. I always want to have as much confetti as I can. Wowee. I could soak this view up all day long. I mean, just look at the top of that mountain. It's so... Wait, what's that? That's the outer crust of Peach's castle, isn't it? I saw my brother's streamers wrapping around it, lifting it into the air. And then it was gone. Peach's castle gets moved 
in so many games. Wait, there it is. See, way up on top of that distant mountain, it's still wrapped up tightly with all those streamers. My brother could still be there with Princess Peach. Oh, he's probably just plodding away. I'm going to stop you, brother. As your sister, it's my duty. You don't have a very sisterly voice, but it's okay. <coughs> oh, speaking of brothers, um, I saw a green hat falling into that hole where the castle used to be. I'm so sorry, the green hat was related to your hat, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, I just knew it was. I was right about the hat. This is a big problem. It might be good to hurry back to where it fell and see what's going on. Oh, and we should look for your brother while we're at it. I hope he's okay, too. I don't... Okay. Oh. I took seven damage. Pew. Confetti me. I can... Go pick up all this confetti now. Yeah, <laughs> he he was all he, he's cheap, man. We got to the thing and we got to the castle and he was like, "I'm gonna go park the car. I don't want to tip the valet," <laughs> and then took off. <laughs> it was it was a very Luigi thing to do. Someone's here. Someone with a mustache. It's a flat paper person. No, that didn't work there. Alright. Oh, oh, I thought it was just one. Oh, it's cool. It's cool if you don't want to stick around, man. I, I understand. I was I avoided like all the reviews and everything for this just because I didn't want to know anything about it. Ooh, what is that? Ten thousand coins? Or a thousand coins? A thousand coins. It's pretty exciting. Um, it's all turn-based. Well, battling is turn-based um, with some some action-based components. Ooh, how do I get up there? Oh, I can't go that way. That's not that's not cool. How do I get up there? He just throws confetti whenever. Look at you. You can throw confetti in whatever direction you want. Wow. <laughs> it's so strange. <coughs> the confetti part of this game is definitely the most interesting part so far. Drop the ten coin. All right, let's get this. They want me to pull. They want me to pull stuff. They're spoiling it for me. Now has he found the spring? Oh, I don't want to touch that one. There we go. Get some more confetti. While I'm here. Do you like... So do you like a lot of... I guess maybe not a lot of... But do you like RPG games? Or RPGs, I guess? Okay. I don't know what that does for me, but okay.
Ooh, a faded flower flower. A faded flower flower would watering it restore its potency. I guess we'll try it. Um, they're pre I, I really like them. Um, that's like my, one of my, my main things that is it just throw another one? Oh. See, I like them. I've played a lot. I can I also can never finish one though. Hey, it's like a shriveled mushroom. Water it to turn turn it to our original form. Like, I recently just finished it's more. It was more action RPG, but I recently finished the um, the Final Fantasy VII remake. What is this? Oh, it's just confetti. Oh, I was a hundred coin. What are you? You're a heart. Ten coin. Ten coin. Ten coin. And then you're a hundred coin. A hundred coin. Cool. Um, I've played a couple of other ones. Um, I really like them. I, I buy way too many of them, and I'll play them for like 20 hours, 30 hours, and then I'll just like stop playing. Oh, yeah. Let's go. We found Peach's Castle. Collectible treasure. Ooh, it's cute. You should try to collect more of these, Mario. Maybe even all of them. I would love to collect all of them. I don't. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Oh no. Um. Interesting. I don't see a way to go. So I'm missing something. So I need a spring for there, I think. That's what they're saying. Do I need to just keep pulling this? Birdo! That's cool. We don't see Birdo in many Mario games. Oh, so we don't need a spring. She seems like all the weird stuff is happening. Like, I wish, I wish they made like Resident Evil games, like they made RPGs. They just don't. They just don't. Cause like everyone, everyone and their mom can make an RPG. But apparently no one no one makes like Resident Evil games. Or if they do, they're like really bad. Alright, we're full there. Let's see what's over here. Bag of confetti. Bag of coins. Nice. So I only watch the like announcement trailer because I am really excited for it. Resident Evil games are Resident Evil 2, the original one, is actually probably my one of my favorite games of all time. Um so I the only one that I haven't played a ton of is um, number six. But um, it looks cool. I'm excited. Um, it 
the way that Capcom's doing their stuff right now, and like it's all just rumors, but like the way it comes off, so there's the rumor that they're remaking number four at the same time, and so like the one of the things that I think irked a lot of people with the RE three remake and RE RE two remake and RE three remake is that they seemed to use all of the um if they reuse a lot of assets from RE2 to um to make RE3 and they didn't add a whole lot so I feel like by doing Resident Evil 8 as like the village Resident Evil 8 village they're with the rumors that they're going to remake number 4 that number 4 is going to use the re, the 4 remake is going to use a lot of the same assets as village and like I feel like that's going to upset a lot of people but other than that I think it's great um I think I'm kind of at the point where like if you watch like scary movies like Jason movies or Halloween Michael Myers all that stuff um <laughs> after a while like you got to stop paying attention to the storyline <laughs> and just enjoy the game for what it is and um Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I I I that's true. I'm Yeah. I guess for me like the only thing I I like I like Resident Evil 3. I don't have a lot of the problems with it everyone else does, but um I also playing it was just like, man, there's so much more they could have done and didn't. And so it kind of feels you you feel a little cheated, I think. That's true. What is this place? Oh, I can't go here yet. I just got to leave. Is this like some Oh, thank you for calling me out with X. My first hint. Now, for an actual hint. I didn't actually ask you, but I hit that by accident. This place seems really familiar. Let's, maybe things will change if we just keep going. Yeah, and I just think there's so much stuff. I think they cut out too much of the game. Like, there were things they could have expanded on that they didn't, and there were things they cut out that... Uh, does it feel like we're not really getting anywhere? Sometimes when the folding gets tough, I just take a break and clear my head. Yeah, I think they just cut out too much stuff. It was way too short. You know, just like sit down somewhere nice and flat with perfect lighting, like on that tree stump. Okay, it was off the tree stump already. It was just too short. They cut out stuff. I think I thought it could have been like two or three hours longer, and it probably would have been perfectly fine. Hey, who's there? But RE2 remake was fantastic. You can't sit on old Grand Sappy's head, mister. That's right, he's the elder of this forest. Show some respect. He's got twigs older than you. So what if he's been logged by those nasty little toads? He's still my, the man, honey. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you, darlings. Bless your bark. You, young man, go back and tell your flat paper friends what a state I'm in. I've hardly the hardwoods to speak, let alone learn you some manners. <sighs> Old Grand Sappy here hasn't been the same since they cut him down. That's why he's mad at y'all. Flat paper folks cutting down good trees in their prime. Shame on you. Oh, and by the way, you need Grand Theft Auto permission if you ever plan on leaving, hun. So now that you're here, better get comfy, because you're going to be here forever. Forever? I think that means a really long time, and I can't deal with that. Uh, Mr. Grand Sappy, we're not with those flat paper people who did this to you. And actually, I'm not even flat paper, I'm origami. Oh, origami, you say? My R's aren't what they used to be. I can't do. I can't keep up with the voices anymore. 
Well, if what you say is true, then perhaps maybe some of you you may be some of assistance to me of some assistance to me. If you can't find a way to restore my energy, I may just let you two leave this place. That's so wonderful generous of you. Truly. I wish we knew how to restore your energy. Anyway, we're in a hurry ourselves, so we'll do our best to help. I guess if you're gonna help Grand Sappy, we'll let you wander around a bit. Nice. Yeah, I just don't, like, I guess... There you go, child. Now you can be on your merry way along the mountain. Just don't go wandering off too far. You gotta find us something called the Soul Seed. They say it's the only thing that can help old Grand, Pe Grand Sappy get his energy back. Good luck. Alright, we gotta find the Soul Seed. Yeah, I guess my my just thing is, like, I just don't want it to be the same thing as RE3, right? Where they make RE8, and RE8's really good, and then... There's like, let's throw Resident Evil 4 together with all this junk. More whispers, man. More whispers. I wonder if you... Like, I get, I'm getting all these coins. I don't know what I can use coins for yet. I think you can use them to like upgrade or something. Goombas. Ah, see, if you weren't here earlier, you get first look at how you fight in this game. Whoa, it's been a while since that first battle, hasn't it? I think I remember how everything works. Do you? Let's give it a shot. Line them up. Alright, this seems familiar. You're going to line those folded shol soldiers up. Yes, I remember. You don't have to tell me every time. Yes, I'm not. I'm just gonna ignore you because you're you're being annoying. You got them all lined up. Nice work, Mario. You can do this every time. And be good to go. Yes, boots. Get yes, yes. I know. I'm aware. Thank you. Action commands. So you press A just as you land on an enemy. You'll deal more damage. Let's give it a try. Get ready. As soon as press A as soon as it appears. Great. Yes, a perfectly lined up jump attack is so satisfying. If you can land multiple action commands during battles, you'll take out your enemies out in no time. Last wave. Ack. Another wave of folded soldiers came out of nowhere. Okay. I mean, they're shut out exactly the same as the last time we fought them. Like, I know this is still just the tutorial, but I really hope... Yeah, press A as it atta as the attack lands. Yeah, it's the same, same mechanic. You'll see a burst behind you as you wind up your swing. Press A when the burst flashes brightest. Ready to give it a try? Here we go. Press A as soon as it appears. Excellent. Ah, that was a thing of beauty. You smashed all four Goombas with a single swing. There's one other super important kind of action command. When enemies are attacking you, press A just before you get hit to guard and take less damage. Go get him, Mario. Keep lining up enemies and using action commands. Hey, this is great. Taking out these folded soldiers released a ton of confetti. We can use as much as we can find with all those terrible holes around here, I'd say. What a great deal. We can get rid of an enemy and get confetti to boot. And when they explode, it's like a party. Hell yeah. Still though, how are there already folded soldiers in this deep into the forest? Do you think they're just going around causing trouble everywhere? I have such a bad feeling about this. Well, we'll take them out. We're not scared of them. Ah, oh, I I loaded another confetti before. <laughs> Oops. Good thing confetti is free. All right, so you can hit them first too, maybe to give you like a advantage.
Oh. Okay, so that's cool. Oh no, the folded soldiers are spread out all over the place. There's no way you can line them up with a single move. We'll be crumpled before our ventures even begun. That's just mean. But I have two ring moves. Wait, do you see that? It says times two under ring moves. It looks like you get two chances to move the rings in one turn. In some battles, if some battles will let us move the rings twice, that changes things. Okay, let's think. You could start by uh, moving that one, then, hmm. I'll leave the rings to you, Mario. Go get them. I really hope this gets harder. He said before he died repeatedly to the next like fight. <laughs> that just seems like something I would do. We are almost out of tea. Oh, I should talk to you. Can't believe I had one of those folded things hiding on me. Is that what it feels like when you walk into a spider web? Oh wow, now I feel terrible. Here, take these and we'll call it even. Ooh, nice. Thanks. What are you? So if you defeat one of those folded creatures, it turns into confetti. That information could really save a lot of trees, you know? Oh, so he doesn't want me to hit him. He doesn't want to lose his confetti. Ah, got him. Oh, shit. Alright, we'll do the... Whoa, there are a lot more this time. Full of soldiers this time. We'll never hit all his enemies with a single attack. Is this the end? Is this really our final battle? It's been an honor to fight alongside you, Mario. Ooh, actions. Oh, look, Mario, the action selection. Does that mean you get two attacks in this one turn? Let's find out. Try selecting your first attack now. Like, that's cool and all, but let me defend. Yes, I knew it. You still got one action remaining. Take your second attack, Mario. Wow, with two actions, you're almost unstoppable. With successful lineup and multiple actions, we can take out a ton of enemies in a single turn. Always check your remaining actions before you choose your actions. Okay. Ooh, we got less... I got less uh, gold that turn, damn it. I threw more confetti at you, too. Sorry, tree. You have to take one for the team. Get all this confetti. I assume I gotta put the this dried up seed that I found into the lake. But I would like to investigate the rest of this area first. You wouldn't believe the restorative power this spring has. Wrinkles gone. Dry spots wet. It's amazing. <laughs> Wetting dry spots. Alright, we're gonna have to hit you tree. I'm not I'm not full yet, I don't think. Collectible treasure number two, mushroom. So we've collected some, some cool treasures. I'm going to miss some of those, I know it. I know I'm going to miss some of those. Alright, let's see. Check. <coughs> hey, this is that spring that we saw before. I feel calmer somehow, just standing near it. Normally, I wouldn't suggest this, but do you think we should try throwing something in there? Uh, let's throw in the faded fire flower. Fire flower. Use this to throw fireballs at enemies in a straight line. Nice. 
put the mushroom in there. We'll put the seed in there last, because I know that that's probably the item I have to put in there. Mushroom. We'll put the seed in the shrub in there. All right. Soul seed. A fully revitalized soul seed. Give it to old Grand Sappy. Urgh. <coughs> Did you hear that? I think it might have been an old Grand Sappy crying out. He seemed pretty feeble when we talked to him. But that was no feeble Urg. Oh no, oh no. Do you think he's okay? Oh, let's get back. Jeez. He's hurt. Urg. I hope he's okay. No time to stop and whack the flowers. Man. <laughs> They, these trees throw mad shade. <coughs> Save complete. Oh my god, he needs more confetti. Oh dear. I can't look. Poor thing, he's a shell of himself. Hauled out like some woodshot project gone wrong. I can't believe this horrible thing has ganged up on old Grand Sappy and did this to him. They, they deserve to be chipped. Uh, Grand Sappy, can you hear us? This doesn't look good. He was already creaky, and now he's downright hollowed out. Oh? I've got an idea. Look closely at Grand Sa Mr. Grand Sappy's face. Doesn't it look like one of those holes? Maybe that means you can fix him with confetti by using ZR. Ah, uh, Paper Mario, teaching you that everything can be fixed if you throw confetti at it. That's the true life lesson. Huh? What happened? Felt like some rapscallion was whittling down on me again. Did I just dream it? Ah, uh, I suppose that's just the memory going downhill. Oh, nuts. Grand Zappy's back, y'all. Let's see, mustache. Check. Creepy eyebrows, check. It's Grand Sappy again, alright. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. He's still a shell of himself, but it's better than being a shell of a shell. We've got our precious elder back. Well, he's not hollow anymore, but does it mean. That it does seem like he could still be more energetic somehow. Give him the soul seed, man. <coughs> do you have something for me? I do. Nice. Is it working? How do you feel? It's doing something. Watch out. Ooh, the trees are going to get into it now. Dancing with the trees. That's as much as I dance. I'm not singing. I'm not singing on Twitch. Sorry, guys. Ooh, he grew a new sapling. Oh, shit, he grew a whole new tree. Wow, I was not expecting that. Neither was I, actually. Looking good, Grand Sappy. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. This little sea was all it took. Tighten up my timbers and put the funk back in my trunk. I'm young again. <coughs> I see no need to keep you all waiting any longer. Unless you want to run through that song and dance again. Shrubs, open up for my main mustache and his little lady here. Nice. Great, now we can keep making our way back to Peach's Castle. Let's get a move on, Mario. It's still pretty I'm still pretty worried about your green family. Bye for now, Grand Seppi. I'm glad we could be of service. I am glad too. Ah, I need more confetti though. Let me confetti up real quick. Um, I'm actually starting to get a little tired. 
I was like hoping to play for another hour or two, but um, I think if I stop now and get some sleep, then we'll have a lot more productive stream tomorrow. So um, I'm going to go ahead and save after I get some more confetti, and we will call it a night. So no more spoiling for you, type 2. Um, thank you all for watching tonight. I appreciate it. We will get back at this tomorrow. Um, first, my daughter's first nap is 10 o'clock um, 10 o'clock Pacific. So I will be back on around 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. I will see you all then. Talk to you later. Have a great night. Bye.